Welcome back to Undertale, everybody. So I forget where we are. Oh, that's right, we're in the spider area. Oh, <laughs> did you hear what they just said? They said a human wearing a striped shirt will come through. I heard that they hate spiders. I heard that they love to stomp on them. I heard that they like to tear their legs off. I don't do that. I heard... It's you. That they're awfully stingy with their money. <laughs> you think your taste is too refined for our pastries, don't you, dearie? <laughs> I disagree with that notion. I think your taste is exactly what this next batch needs. Oh dear. It's Spider Dance! Muffet traps you. Ooh, it's Little Miss Muffet, apparently, and now she's a spider. She's kind of adorable. Muffet, 38 attack, 18.8 defense. If she invites you to her parlor, excuse yourself. Don't look so blue, my dearie. Uh, what's going on? Oh, interesting. I think Purtle Bull is a better look for you. Oh, you're trapped in a strange purple web. Up next, spiders. Struggle. You struggle to escape the web. Muffet covers her mouth and giggles at you. Why so pale? You should be proud. Oh, I like this already. Muffet tidies up the web around you. You struggle to escape the web. Muffet laughs and claps her hands. Proud that you're going to make a delicious cake. <laughs> Oh, this is awesome. I've been looking forward to this. Muffet pours you a cup of spiders. Ew. You struggle to escape the web. Muffet is so amused by your antics that she gives you a discount. Let you go. Don't be silly. I can't tell if she's, like, terrifying or adorable. Or both. Muffet pours you a cup of spiders. Alright, let's beat her up now. Your soul is going to make every spider very happy. Yeesh. Oh boy. Muffet tidies up the web around you. Okay. What if I pay you money? You pay 5G. Muffet reduces her attack for this turn. Oh, how rude of me. I almost forgot to introduce you to my pet. It's breakfast time, isn't it? Have fun, you two. Oh, this is not fun. Ah! Hi! Yeek! Muffet pours you a cup of spiders. Can I pay you more? You pay 35G. Muffet reduces her attack for this turn. The person who warned us about you. Ow, 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 I, ow, 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 I hate this, I hate this. Muffet tidies up the web around you. Great, can I please pay you more money? You pay 75G, Muffet reduces her attack for this turn. Offered us a lot of money for your soul. Can I outbid her? Muffet does a synchronized dance with the other spiders. I want to see that. You pay 145G. Muffet reduces her attack this turn. They had such a sweet smile and... <laughs> what is that? Muffet pours you a cup of spiders. You pay 195G. Muffet reduces her attack for this turn. It's strange, but I swore I saw them in the shadows. Changing shape. Smells like freshly baked cobwebs. You empty your pockets, but you don't have enough money. Muffet lowers the price. Oh, it's lunchtime, isn't it? And I forgot to feed my pet. Uh-oh. This fiend again? Youch! 
Muffet tidies up the webs around you. You empty your pockets, but you don't have enough money. Muffet lowers the price. With that money, the spider clans will can finally be reunited. Well, I love the spider bake sale. Muffet does a synchronized dance with the other spiders. You empty your pockets, but you don't have enough money. Muffet lowers the price. You haven't heard? The spiders have been trapped in the ruins for generations. Something tells me I just have to pay her a ton of money to mercy her. Muffet tidies up the web around you. You're out of money. Muffet shakes her head. Even if they go under the door, Snowden's fatal cold is impassable alone. Muffet tidies up the web around you. You're out of money. Muffet shakes her head. But with the money from your soul, we'll be able to rent them a heated limo. Very nice. Muffet pours you a cup of spiders. You're out of money. Muffet shakes her head. And with all the leftovers, we can have a nice vacation. Or even build a spider baseball field. Oh boy. You're out of money. Muffet shakes her head. But enough of that. It's time for dinner, isn't it? <laughs> Please don't eat me. You're still alive? <laughs> oh, my pet, it looks like it's time for dessert. Huh? A telegram from the spiders in the ruins? What? They're saying that they saw you and you helped donate to their cause. Oh my, this has all been a big misunderstanding. I thought you were someone that hated spiders. The person who asked for that soul. They must have met a different human in a striped shirt. Sorry for all the trouble. <laughs> I'll make it up to you. You can come back here anytime, and for no charge at all. I'll wrap you up and let you play with my pet again. Ha ha ha, just kidding. I'll spare you for now. Muffet is sparing you. Sweet! But we lost all our money, didn't we? Oh, wow. I'm kind of upset about that. Is that a photo of SpongeBob on a unicycle? It's a poster for Metaton's latest stage performance. Oh, never mind. A tragic tale of two star-crossed lovers kept apart by the tides of fate. Looks like it's almost time for their performance. Oh boy. Can't wait. Oh, that human. Could it be? My one true love. This is so breathtaking. She's beautiful. Oh, my love. Oh, please read the way. Monster King forbids your stay. All humans must live far apart every nif it breaks my heart they all built you in the dungeon I it'll be sucking and then you'll die a lot Really sad, you're gonna die. Cry, 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 so sad it's happening. So sad. So sad that you are going to the dungeon. Well, toodles! Oh no, whatever shall I do? 
My love has been cast away into the dungeon. A dungeon with a puzzle so dastardly, my paramour will surely perish. Oh, heavens have mercy, the horrible colored tile maze. Each colored tile has its own sadistic function. For example, a green tile summons the noise, and then you must fight a monster. Red tiles will... Actually, wait a second. Didn't we see this puzzle about a hundred rooms ago? That's right, you remember all the rules, don't you? Great, then I won't waste your time repeating them. Oh, and you'd better hurry, because if you don't get through in 30 seconds... You'll be incinerated by these jets of fire. Ha 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 ha. My poor love, I'm so filled with grief, I can't stop laughing. Good luck, darling. This is impossible! Ooh, I'm so sorry, it looks like you're out of time. Here come the flames, darling. They're closing in! Getting closer, oh my! Any minute now! Robotic cough. Reen. Watch out! I'll save you! I'm hacking into the firewall right now! Oh no! How could this happen? Foiled again by the brilliant Dr. Alphys! Th that's right! Come on, Metaton! Give up already! You'll never be able to defeat us! Not as long as we work together! Your puzzle's over. Now go home and leave us alone. Puzzle. Over. Alpha Starling, what are you talking about? Did you forget what the green tiles do? They make a sound, then you have to fight a monster. Well, darling, that monster is me. Metaton attacks once again. Oh, boy. This is it, darling. Say goodbye. Is that your phone? You'd better answer it. Hey, hey, this seems bad, but don't worry. There's one last thing I installed on your phone. You see that yellow button? Go to this phone's act menu and press it. Your phone's act menu's glowing. All right, yellow. You press the yellow button. The phone is resonating with Metaton's presence. This is a Darwin. say goodbye. Now press Z. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. You've defeated me. How could this be? You were stronger than I thought, etc. Whatever. Rain. Looks like you beat him. You did a really great job out there. All thanks to you. What? Oh, no, no. I mean... You were the one doing everything cool. I just wrote some silly programs for your phone. Um, hey, this is, might sound strange, but... C can I tell you something? B before I met you, I d didn't really... I didn't really like myself very much. For a long time, I f felt like a total screw-up. Like I couldn't do uh, anything without... Without ending up letting everyone down. B but guiding you has made me feel a lot better about myself. So, thanks for letting me help you. Uh, anyway, we're almost to the core. It's just past MTT Resort. Come on, let's finish this. Oh, are we close to the end of the game? Oh, and here, this begs the question, do people want to see me do, like, every ending? Not sure how long that would take. Hey, it's you again! Business is excellent here! These two fellas bought all my ice cream! I've actually sold out of everything! Sorry. Wait, I've still got something for you! A big smile! How about that? Oh, hey. We're, like, taking a rain check on that killing you thing. Like, don't tell I'm dying about this, okay? 
He seems happy. That's good. It's good to grow as friends. Oh, whoops, that's the wrong way. Hey, hey, did you remember my name? Did you? Nope. Well, what? You don't remember? How could I be so easily defeated? Sorry, dude, that was like a week ago. When I recorded it, at least. Hey! Go up the creepy alleyway on the right for some great deals. Hey, I heard you're going to the core. How about grabbing some dinner with me first? Yeah, sure. Great, thanks for treating me. Over here, I know a shortcut. Well, here we are. So, your journey's almost over, huh? You must really want to go home. Hey, I know the feeling, Bono. Though, maybe sometimes it's better to take what's given to you. Down here, you've already got food, drink, friends. Is what you have to do really worth it? Ah, forget it. I'm rooting for you, kid. Hey, let me tell you a story. So I'm a sentry in the Snowden Forest, right? I slid out there and watched for the humans. It's kind of boring. Fortunately, deep in the forest, there's this huge locked door. And it's perfect for practicing knock-knock jokes. So one day, I'm knocking them out, like usual. I knock at the door and say, knock-knock. And suddenly, from the other side, I hear a woman's voice. Who is there? So, naturally, I respond, dishes. Dishes who? Dishes a very bad joke. Then she just howls with laughter. It's like the, it's the best joke she's heard in a hundred years. So I keep them coming, and she keeps laughing. She's the best audience I've ever had. Then, after a dozen of them, she knocks and says, Knock, knock. I say, who's there? Old lady. Old lady who? Oh, I did not know that you could yodel. Well, needless to say, this woman was extremely good. We keep telling each other jokes for hours. Eventually, I had to leave. Papyrus gets kind of cranky without his bedtime story. But she told me to come by again, and so I did. Then I did again, and again. It's been a feed now. Telling bad jokes through the door. It rules. One day, though, I noticed she wasn't laughing very much. I asked her what was up. Then she told me something strange. If a human ever comes through this door, could you please, please promise something? Watch over them and protect them, will you not? Now, I hate making promises. And this woman, I don't even know her name. But someone who sincerely likes bad jokes has an integrity you can't say no to. Do you get what I'm saying? The promise I made to her? You know what would have happened if she hadn't said anything? Buddy? You'd be dead where you stand. Hey, lighten up, bucko. I'm just joking with you. Besides, haven't I done a great job protecting you? I mean, look at yourself. You haven't died a single time. That's right, isn't it? Well, chalk it up to my great skills. Heh. <laughs> Well, that's all. Take care of yourself, kid. Because uh, someone really cares about you. Oh, jeez. I think he's talking about Tareel, who I accidentally killed. It's the gingerbread man. As I came in, I realized I forgot to make a reservation. But I didn't want to look like I messed up, so I kept walking in anyway. Now I'm just kind of consuming dew off this ficus. Weird. It's some kind of TV show featuring Metaton. It's a wall of fame, full of quotes and photos from visiting celebrities. The food is to die for. Gorgeous style and fragrance. My face tastes beautiful. These are all Metaton. <laughs> it's a performance schedule. Comedians, dancers, sands. Seems there's a break now. Originally, we dug mazes with puzzles in order to foil human attacks. But now, building things winding and confusing, it's some awful tradition. You can't go, ugh, two feet without being up to your armpits and puzzles. 
That's the mole from Earthbound. I work at the core. The inside is a maze of swappable parts. That means we can shuffle the layout at will. Boy, was today a fun day. I sure love puzzle. I'm the resort comedian. I'm very funny. People laugh at my jokes. Now, my son, he wants to be a comedian like his father. But his jokes aren't funny. He tells these awful puns. He's an embarrassment to our family. Ha 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 ha. That's not funny. Since his mata had passed on, he couldn't stand living at home anymore. So he ran away. I haven't seen him since. I'm a terrible father. Ha ha ha. That's not funny. Well, that's sad. Bob, Bob, you'll have to reserve a table to eat here. You'll also need to reserve your chair, your silverware, your food, your... I'm out of here. There's an inscription on this fountain. Royal Memorial Fountain, built 2001X. Metaton added last week. Welcome to MTT Resort, a hot, uh, Hotland's biggest apartment building turned hotel. Whether you're here for a night or still live here, MTT Resort prides itself on a great stay. Just passing through? Nice! MTT Resort prides itself on being passed through. In the relaxing atmosphere of this hotel, it fills you with determination. Sweet. Yeah, I'm not gonna be home tonight. Uh, I think there's some cold pizza in my treasure hoard that you can heat up. <laughs> This elevator goes straight to the capital, but it stopped working. The hotel's doing its best to accommodate everybody stuck here. As a slime, I'm outraged. Welcome to MTT Brand Burger Emporium, home to the Glam Burger. Sparkle up your day, TM. I'm sorry, haha. <laughs> it's against the rules to talk to customers who haven't bought anything. I don't have money for this. Steak in the shape of Metaton's face. 500G. That makes sense. Ugh! That is legit one of the most terrifying things I've seen in a video game. Yes, we know. The elevator to the city is not working. Because of this incident, rooms are running at a special rate. 200G a room. Interested? No. Do let us know if you change your mind. Have a sparkular day. Ooh, I want to go down this creepy alleyway, totally. Hey, check it out. Yeah, check it out. So what about you two? I'm Caddy, I'm Braddy, and this is my best friend, Braddy, and this is my best friend, Caddy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. About your wares. The stuff inside is, like, totally wicked expensive. But, like, this stuff we found is, like, totally wicked cheap. You should, like, totally wicked buy all of it. I mean, like, where does anyone get guns or food? Or we found it in the garbage. It's good garbage. It's like really good garbage. <laughs> where do we get the garbage? Like the garbage store. Duh. Waterfall mostly. I found a gun in a dumpster. <laughs> oh my gosh, Metaton! He's like my robot husband. Actually, he's like my robot husband. I think we're like both all going to marry him. I'm like already married to him. He's just like doesn't know it yet. Oh, you're creepy girls. So like Dr. Alphys built Metaton, right? That's like what they have to tell you. But like Metaton always acts like being built it was his idea somehow. And even right after he was built, he acted like Alphys was his own old friend. But they're, like, not friends anymore. Yeah, unlike me and Braddy. Best friends forever. Okay, old. Yeah, okay. Oh my gosh, Alphys. She used to live on our street. She was, like, a big sister. I mean, like, if your big sister takes you on trips to the dump. She showed us the coolest places to find trash. She was always collecting these weird cartoons. Then she became the royal scientist. Yeah, we haven't seen her in, like, forever. So Alphys has always, like, thought Asgore is a super cutie. So, like, I'm pretty sure she made Metaton to, like, totally impress him. A robot with a soul that's, like, super relevant to his hobbies. So after seeing Metaton, Asgore asked her to do all this science stuff for him. But nobody's, like, seen anything from her yet. 
or her at all. She must, like, just stay in her lab all day. Like, live a little, girl. Yeah, like us. Oh my gosh, he's a total goober. He's a big fuzzy goofball. Like, I love that guy. He's, like, so nice. Gosh, we're, like, so hyped for the destruction of humanity. Uh, what do you have? Oh, terrible stuff. Like, later and stuff. Okay, ugh. Never go in there again. Alright, now we will take the elevator. He's still in shock. Please select a location. Uh, floor three, please. Level three. Oh, wait. I've been to level three, haven't I? Okay. Hmm. Well, then I'm not really sure what to do. Huh. Where to go next? Oh, that's right, I can go up here. Oh yeah, <laughs> through this giant way. Obviously. Rain. Huh? Who are they? N nobody else is supposed to be here. Oh well, we can't worry about that now. Click. Rain. Ready? This is it. Take the elevator up to the top of the core. Click. This elevator isn't working. Rain. What? The elevator should be working. W well then, go to the right and keep heading up. Rain. Alright, now just keep heading up. That pit isn't on my map. Forget it, let's try the left side. Okay, you should be able to make it through here. Well, watch out! Magic pops out of its hat. Hi, Magic! Magic! 29 attacks, 24 defense. This magical mercenary only says magic words. Abracadabra. Hey, come on! Crosses are not supposed to be used as weapons. Pocus Pocus. Alakazam! Magic flaunts its orbs in a menacing manner. Take this, magic! You won! And my love increased. Th that was close. Look, why are there so many monsters here? I mean, it's no problem, right? We've just got to keep heading forward. Quick. I just realized it, I'm out of time for this episode, so I have to go back and save and quit. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Colorful Artie, and I don't think we'll finish next episode, but we're getting close. Anyways, have a great day, and God bless.